What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Soma Blind. In the last episode, we escaped from Theta. Really, uh, you know, just barely. <laughs> there were quite a few very, very tight escapes. And now we are on our way to Omicron, where we're supposedly going to find a suit that will enable us to go to the deeps, the depths of the abyss, and find uh, the Ark. So... Would you listen to that music? Also, look at this scene. It's very pretty. With all the fish and everything. You gotta love it. Whoa, what are all those, like... All right. Let's find like, them. cages, almost. Oh, and how can I forget? There was that moment we were sort of in our own dream, more or less, that we intentionally escaped from. What is the deal with all of these? Do I need to turn them on or something? It looks like they might be connected to each other. Power failure. Alright. So let's turn on the power. Sounds like an easy fix to me. <laughs> no, of course the real problem is going to be how in the world do we turn on the power? Isn't this one of our, uh... Our KT, our Kate friends. I don't know. You'll be, you'll be missed. Either way, this thing looks useful. Can I enter from this like rope down here? Oh, it looked like a rope, but clearly, shift ninety degrees, and it's a ladder. This is probably where we're going to turn the power on. Offline? See if I have anything to say about that. Manual override. Gotta do it ourselves sometimes. Warning, before flushing, make sure to open valves and turn on the pump. Open valves. What does this do? Open valves. Can I not do that or what? Can I rotate, please? I'm trying to rotate. Okay. All right. It seems like rotating in this game, this is the pressure pump, is done just by holding one direction, as opposed to actually making sort of like a like a circle motion. Let's see, so now we should be able to flush, right? I don't really know what we're flushing, or what we're doing. Oh! That's what's happening. This probably still won't work. But now we can climb up here, presumably. And that's gonna give us access to something we need, I think. Huh. This looks like another one of those, like, communication centers. What was that sound? That did not seem good. Alright. A lot of silence. I'm not getting anything. I can't read him like the others. You can't read him like the others. I wonder why. My first inclination is to think that you can only read people that have like interacted with WoW or something like that. Anything else in here? Useful? No, it doesn't seem like it. Yeah, maybe it's like a he can't actually interact with or read humans like other pe like other machines. Oh. I probably should have taken a better close or closer look at that fish spheres. Omicron is I probably want to turn on all of these. So let's start by turning on the source. Oh wait, we just turned it off, didn't we? Alright, let's uh let's take a look at this again. 
So power level is in the far left. We'll probably want to turn on all of these, honestly. Why not turn on the fish spheres? Why not turn on Omicron lighting, the outside lighting, etc.? So let's flip all the switches. My only concern might be that it's going to be like, oh, too much power and we're going to like blow a fuse or something. But for now, yeah, we'll turn them all on. Hope for the best. Okay, and then this power level is clearly not functional. Can we change that? I don't know. <laughs> it always seems like whenever Simon like inserts his fist there, it always seems he's like like questionably going for a fist pound. He's like not sure if the other person's gonna like fist pound back or not. And he's like, you know, I think I think I'll go for it anyways. And then just like eats his hand. Catherine? What? Huh. There you are. Where are we? We're right next to Omicron, a smaller building connected to the main site. Can't you tell? No, my view is pretty limited. There's some heavy restrictions on my system access. Did you find a power suit? Not yet. I'm trying to figure out how to get into Omicron, the big building. Oh, okay. Keep up the good work. <laughs> you got nothing? Good luck. Thanks. Oh man, Catherine, you're supposed to be more helpful than that. Kath, how are you so okay with all this? With what? Being a talking box, for one thing. Not being human. It's not so bad. So, you're not bothered at all by not having a body? I'm getting there. You're making me feel really self-conscious. Come on, be serious. I never felt that comfortable being human in the first place. This isn't much worse. Not being able to move would freak me out. Glad you got the box <laughs> and not me. Would make it a little easier to help out if I had a body. But you're doing a good job. Just figured being able to stretch a little would give you some ease. My physical constraints don't translate to my experience very well. I feel about as human as before, but as if suspended in air. Which is kind of interesting now that I think about it. Yeah, that is pretty odd. Okay. Kath, why do you think I was made? Why would this AI, the WoW, bring me here? I don't think we could ever know. I have my own beliefs, but nothing that can be verified. Tell me, why do you think the WoW brought me here? The WoW had a range of assignments, but they all sprung from one single idea. Preserve humanity. When the comet hit the Earth, killing everything, leaving a fraction of humanity left alive, the WoW started to compensate. It's restoring humanity. I think so, but I don't think we share its definition of human. Or life, for that matter. Interesting. I mean, I agree. What a great question. Oh, and it looks like the power level is somewhat Catherine, restoring. Are we alive? That's an impossible question to answer. We lack meaningful definitions. I just figured there must be a way to know. To know if this life is worth living. You assume you've changed so much, but have you really? I don't know. I don't feel so different. But the world sure does. I never realized how much the idea of myself depended on where I am. How do you mean? I miss Toronto. And not because my friends and family are there, but because I know where I fit in. In Toronto, I know who I am. That's an interesting observation. It really is. Simon getting really deep here. The meaning of life. Is life worth living if it's meaningless? How much of you depends on your location, your Where body, you etc.? Just doing some exploring. What are we finding here? Adam Galeski is ordered to come to Theta as soon as possible. Urgent. Gask. I tried to figure out what it was about, but they wouldn't tell me anything. All I know is they asked if you were missing or if you were dead. Something must have freaked them out. I think you better do as they tell you. Herbie. Huh. I don't remember much about Adam Galaski, so unfortunately I can't quite put that together. But for those of you that are watching these videos in a little bit more quick uh, succession than I am, you probably have a better idea. I shouldn't have done that, but I was just impatient. Okay. So it looks like the power is on, actually. 
And all those switches were turned off again. I went through all this <laughs> trouble to turn on all the switches. Oh, so they're going to make me be selective with the, the power. Please tell me the lid is still nearby. Okay. So, at worst, what? Um, the substation, the robot dock, fish sphere one. Yeah, so I mean, I think we'll go substation, robot dock, then fish sphere four, and then six, and then we'll just finish out the Omicron lighting, outside lighting, and then Omicron itself. So we'll turn that one on, this one, this one, this one, huh? Oh, it doesn't seem to have a connection, does it? So that's a little bit problematic. So what I'll do instead is um, I'll turn this one on. Why isn't it going down? Right? Is this broken? Oh, it's because those tubes are broken. Okay, so this is a little bit more of a puzzle than I expected. Actually, I don't think it's all that crazy, though. The reality is we probably turn this one on and then go this way, this way, and then keep going through like that. Oh, the nice. And now that we have that, is there one more that we can maybe turn on? No, we can't. Okay, darn. All right, so now that the terminal's on, what can we do here? Radio buffer and Omicron. Let's let's listen in here. Boober, do we have any painkillers left? This tinnitus is becoming critical. Sorry, we only have heavy stuff left. Morphine level drugs. I'll take it. Feels like my head is about to explode. It can do. That's stuff for emergencies. Besides, Cameron thinks the ringing will settle when JR reaches JR. 100%. Then tell him to hurry the fuck up. Should be a matter of hours. Just hang in there. Keep me posted. Yeah, well, um, I have this thing I need to take care of, so I'll talk to you later, okay? Sure thing, Herb. He must have overloaded his black box. Humans have black boxes? Here we do. Company policy. It records your vitals to help medical personnel treat you in case of accidents. That's how I can hear the dead. Right. Yeah, you should be able to data mine black boxes, just like the intercom of Theta. That's kind of scary. So that tinnitus he was experiencing, the, the ringing in his ears, was related to overloading his black box? Interesting, if black boxes need to be maintained in some semblance. Omicron status is quarantined. There has to be a way to cancel the lockdown. Have a look around the room. Hmm. Any idea who this is? Not really. Not that familiar with the people at Omicron. It was maybe... Probably her. Did you do that, Catherine? What? Did yeah, it looked like the menu was different, but then it got altered as soon as we got here. Maybe WoW is, is guiding us through this whole experience. Black box status is offline for all of these individuals. Herber, Raleigh. Gotcha, Adam Galaski. System updates. Let's see here. So 2098, 10, 9. Update enables black boxes, failsafe, CRTH4, Carthage implemented. Standard for extent, or X4B extension. Area calibrator for ACR. And then what else? Um, diagnostic tool for post impact contingency plan. Okay, why am I getting some static? Temp validate, press something. Timestamp, no, stuff needed to make the crane work again, all up to Alan now. This is many years past the original. Unnecessary security update for the paranoid lab rats, dead people don't bite. Huh, so once peoples are considered dead by their black box, a way to sort of keep them dead, I guess? It's kind of odd. What is this? UBVZ 
RMSP. Must be the code. I think I solved it. Solved what? Why do I get the feeling that we just got lowered into the back? <laughs> what are you talking about? I feel you, Simon. I feel you. Omicron retracted the quarantine shutters. Lockdown canceled. Something wants us to come inside. And we want to go inside. What's the problem? Come on, let's get going. Yeah, yeah, I feel you, Simon. We're being led right into a trap. I can't imagine this is going to work out particularly well for us. What is this? I don't know. Maybe some sort of tea? Alright, well, we'll head on back down. Head on over to Omicron. It's kind of odd to think that something has been, you know, guiding us the whole time. Potentially. And I'm still thinking about what WoW is doing with Simon to try to preserve humanity. Right? If WoW's goal is to present or to preserve humanity, however it defines humanity, right? Why did it specifically bring Simon back from potentially the tons of you know brain scans it stole slash found amongst all of the data it had access to, right? I'm curious to see what this place looks like with all the the fishing things lit up. Alright, not that significantly different, but is this a friend or a foe? What's with all the static? Yeah, I'm not a fan of all this static, guys. What's this thing here? Can I do much with it? I don't know. I want to check out one of these things, though. Huh. I guess we'll pick this up. Awkward fist bump. Oh, it got me again! <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we'll head over to Omicron now. It doesn't seem like there's a whole lot we can do there. Gonna turn around and continue your patrol. Is that red thing over there what I'm trying to avoid? It doesn't even look active. So I don't really know. I'm so used to the monsters causing all the static that... I don't remember what it was like when the robots would patrol. Anything over here of interest? No. Doesn't look like it, at least. Can take a look. Because for some reason, I'm oddly drawn to this area here. This had better be the right way. I don't think it is, but... Oh, no. Given that there was commentary from Simon about it, I feel like we might have secretly happened upon a potentially correct way to go? Oh my goodness. Why so why the strong sudden static? Can we go through this door? I guess so. Do you see that? All of a sudden, like everything zooms in, gets blurry and stuff. We can probably go down that way. Maybe there's something on the other side of that door that's distorting things. I don't know. Well, we'll head down here regardless. Pressurized door. Is there something else? Can you see that? That's so weird. Maybe it's because we're getting close to slash looking at the abyss or something? I don't know. It's weird to think, though. Why couldn't we go in the front door? Is this not the intended way? Or is it the intended way? It seems like... Huh, this is so weird. Is this a way to get in? 
without going through all that stuff with turning on the power? Are there two entrances that have different results? I don't I don't know. I hope we don't miss something. Let's find that suit and get out. Oh boy. Omicron research facilities. Ooh, nice. Been wanting to do some some lifting while I was here. Alright. Saving, loading. Potentially a lot going on. Oh my! Good things did not happen at Omicron. This person here was beheaded. Doesn't look like they've been very integrated with WoW, which is really interesting. Which might be why we can't read anything from them. So this is containment. If the area was on quarantine before, it makes me think it makes me think this place is very quarantined intentionally. Alright, the question is which way do we want to go first? Stairwell over here. Okay. And then this is containment. What are we going to find in here? Global lockdown active override. Or global lockdown active override at dive room console. So I think this containment room is where we're trying to go. Ultimately, at least. What is this? South Hall? Can we do anything with this? No. What about over here? Any upgrades or anything? We can turn on that lamp. Thanks, game. Some water bottles. Alright, nothing too useful here. So this is an endpoint, probably. After we have found the dive room and we've been able to take down the global lockdown. Okay. Well, let's head on up then. Seems like that's all we can go to. So to the left is dispatch and robot repair bay. Containment and dive room are that way. What is that? I'm not a fan. Robot repair bay. That seems the opposite. If we just saw the containment room, it makes me think the dive room should be down there too. What the heck? There's something on this table. You need to stop it. Do we just like get a glimpse of the memory of something? What are we trying to stop? Probably wow. Oh man, I'm totally gonna get lost in this place. Dive room, medical bay, and dive storage are over here. This is the medical bay. What are we gonna see here is the question. Some more brain scans, some x-rays. Okay, what is this? What are we gonna find in here? Nothing, supposedly. This looks like maybe a scanner of some sort. bed over here. Yeah, I mean, it is the medical bay. We'll very cautiously keep going in this direction. Staying extra observant to see when and if there will be some static anytime soon. So I know we're ultimately looking for the dive room, which should be in this general direction anyways. What is this?
Where are we? So, Haimatsu, power suit, proper usage for the safety of you and your colleagues. Put on the neoprene undersuit and body harness. Check the HPS for any visual damages. Starting with the legs, fix the parts onto your harness and work yourself upwards. Lock all the pieces together as you go. Let a partner help you with the back piece and the torso. Tap the secure button on your arm piece. You should hear the suit seal itself. The suit will then start to equalize pressure and tap into the oxygen tank. If the suit doesn't seal itself, flex the shock absorbers and try again. If it still won't work, don't try to fix it yourself. Contact maintenance. The HPSs are very heavy and the suit will compensate. You will effectively be stronger than you think you are. Be careful. Regular training applies. Don't hold your breath. Don't stay out too long. Don't dive too deep. And don't dive with malfunctioning equipment. All right, that's good to know. This is a team of the, the divers. On the left, is that Catherine? I think it might be. Wow. And then we have this tablet here. Can we turn it on? Arc team checklist. Power suits tested and ready. Jasper confirms. Omicron scans are in the arc. Catherine confirms. Loaded equipment and extra rations. Ivashkin confirms. Climber calibrated for weight. Alan confirms. Crane operator ready. Alan confirms. Omicron standing by for pickup in two days. Huh. I get the impression that's where things ran awry. Because I don't know if our team ever made it back. But this is clearly where the team had gone. None of these are open. Okay. Well, it looks like there's a segment here where we can place our Omni tool. You think we'll find one that fits me? I mean, I'm kind of in a suit already. That's been bothering me too. You know how you were transferred from Vancouver? Toronto. From then to now. How could I forget? Okay, so we do it again. You want to send me to the future? No, you idiot. <laughs> I want to transfer your mind into a new body. What? Look, we already know it can be done. We don't need to make it a big deal. It is a big deal, Kath. It's a huge fucking deal. There's got to be something else that can take us down there. But Dunbat at Theta was the only vessel that could take that pressure, and you saw what happened. Then think of something else. Simon, please. You don't have to switch this instant. Just play along for now. If we find something else, then great. If not... I'm not promising anything. Thank you, Simon. Have a look around the room. This is where they would keep the power suits, if there are any left. Okay, now things are lit up. Um, which is pretty cool. I, I can't blame Simon for being apprehensive about transferring bodies, right? Activate terminal. D is the one that seems to have a suit. Anything else of interest while we're here? Huh. Another one of those scanning chairs. I guess that's what Catherine was, you know, designed to do here, right? Is to ensure that the Omicron scans were on, on board for the ARC. Looks like a power suit. Oh man. Oh god. Nice. I found one of the power suits. There's a dead woman inside. At least I think it's a woman. Just like the body we found in the annex. She's missing her head. Gross. This could work in our favor though. Look for a terminal nearby, see if you can boot it up. That's gross. But yeah, so this is Herber. We we know what figured what happened with Herber. Why are all the heads gone? Maybe the machines are taking the heads for the sake of scanning them or in updating their AI or something like that with that. I don't I don't know. It kind of reminds me of 86 for those of you that watch anime. Haimatsu power suit. Information high pressure power suit guaranteed to withstand temperatures spanning from 50 degrees Celsius to negative 75 degrees Celsius while keeping a steady 40 degrees Celsius on the inside. The suit will automatically shield the wearer from pressure and maintain the normal one atmosphere up to a depth, depth of 5,000 meters. The onboard controller monitors the wearer's physical state and is able to minimize risk of shock, hyperventilation, and even dehydration. The suit is easily assembled through rotating neck and wrist rings that locks the gloves and the helmet in place. 
Note that the joints won't seal unless the controller is able to identify a wearer through a set of sensory systems. Suits may be locked to specific personnel, but as default, the suit will accept anyone. The controller is the onboard computer monitoring pulse, brain activity, body temperature, and stress through skin conductance. It uses this information to provide the wearer with the safest experience. So this tracking. We're obviously in Omicron. There's a climber station nearby, and then it looks like there are a few... I don't know if those red triangles are steps, as in, like, locations of importance. I would bet that those three plus signs are where the current suits are. Interesting. Alright, well, let's activate. Air found with suit. Attention Not required. Exactly great A material. Don't write it off just yet. Remember what we found out at Theta. The suit you are wearing is basically just a Cortex chip working a few pints of structure gel powered by the on-suit battery pack. And a dead colony. Imogen Reed. Exactly. If you think about it, we're actually incredibly lucky. We found a suit with an already dead body inside. I guess you're right. What about the WoW? What makes you think it'll play along? It's not magic, it's algorithms. A set pattern. The WoW won't be able to deny us, even if it was capable of wanting to. I'm still not crazy about this plan. It feels wrong. Please, Simon. I can't give up on the Ark. I need this to work. So we need a Cortex chip, structure gel, and a battery pack. That's one hell of a shopping list. Thanks. I'll just hang around here if that's okay. I'll be back. Yeah, I guess we theoretically can't unplug our Cortex chip and plug it into this one because it's not like we'd be able to do anything after unplugging our own Cortex gel. The idea of having an already dead body in here is incredibly creepy. It almost thinks actually, given how convenient this has been for us, that it was by design, where the WoW is putting human bodies that it can find into these machines or these suits, or whatever it may be, without heads, so that people on the Ark, scans, can find their way into them via Cortex chips. Don't forget, we need a Cortex chip, structure gel, and a power pack to get the suit ready. Okay, so we're going to find those three things. Cortex chip, structure gel, and a battery pack. Now the game begins. Storage. I feel like we should be able to find something useful in the storage container. In the storage closet. Nothing? Really? None of these? I mean, I hate to have to check each of them, but I feel like that's what you gotta do, you know? So this is North Hall. There's still the medical bay. the creepy thing. Containment. The dive room is this way. And dive storage. So that's what's beyond the medical bay and where we had been before. We weren't able to overwrite the lockdown from the dive room though, were we? I don't think so. Cool little tank. Yeah, so if this is the dive room in the dive bay, I would think this is where we can overwrite the lockdown and stuff. But I can't interact with any of these buttons, nor can I interact with this terminal. That's interesting. And we can't really take Catherine with us, can we? Check your air supply and systems. So we are going to die if we go in there. Remote control... All right, well, um, airlock, pressurization. I'm so curious, though. We've got to find all three of those things. We're probably not going to find them all in there. But at the same time, uh, I don't know. I kind of want to see what happens if I go in here. Swipe the Omni tool. Okay, so that's what's preventing us from going through. We're not going to be able to, to, I don't know, go through there until we have the suit on and Catherine is on board with it. Makes sense, makes sense. All right, so we will head back through the medical bay into North Hall, and then back into containment. 
Those two doors are still locked. The classroom and something else. Can I go in here? No, I can't. What were they doing there? What is this? Midsection Omicron lockdown. Oh, God. I swear I saw static. And I hear it. Oh, man. So upper, midsection, lower. We're just going to override everything. Error removing lockdown. Stand by for diagnosis. What? We're trying to remove that lockdown. Great. Fault located F3 power room. Cause system overload. Launching rerouting utility. Reset sequence. What? I don't know what's going on here. Station overview, I guess. Ah, crap. I don't know what's going on, but it ain't good. Alright. So here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna chill for a moment in the medical bay. We're gonna plan. So it seems like I can re- or I can divert the power in a way that it unlocks the facility, but I don't really know what I'm doing with that map that we were just interacting with. And in order to unlock the facility, unlock that, well, lock we found earlier that said, oh, you can do this from the dive room. I think that might be what we're doing here. Um, we'll probably need to figure that out. And then we got to find this battery pack. We have to find the structure gel and a cortex chip from all the different rooms we have. I think... Right now, only a certain number of rooms are unlocked because of the... What the heck? <sighs> so I think that's what was causing the static. But only some of the rooms are unlocked because of how the power is being diverted. But we can potentially change that route via this terminal here. And that's what's going to give us access to new rooms. So I think we'll try to figure that out and find all those items to eventually get us out of here with a useful suit. In the next episode, we're experiencing a lot of static and I have no idea why, but it's pretty concerning. So with that being said, I hope you guys are looking forward to it. Until the next episode, this has been Night Zero, and this mission is complete. <laughs>